Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing tours of the Daybreak area. Daybreak is part of South Jordan, sitting on just over 4,000 acres. They first started building here in 2004. One thing you may not know about Daybreak is that it's designed using a traditional neighborhood development model, which means that every single house is within five minutes walk or bike ride of a major amenity, like a lake, a playground, a park, or a shopping center. Now let's get this tour started. The first video is going to be covering all of Daybreak, and then I'm going to be breaking it up into different villages. At the moment, there are 12 villages within Daybreak, which is expanding as time goes on. Let's get this started. The home designs in Daybreak were inspired by Salt Lake City's historical neighborhoods, such as Sugar House, the Avenues, and Harvard Yale areas and include large porches and alley-loaded garages. Exterior styles include colonial, craftsman, and Victorian. The homes along each street also have brighter colors than are found in most suburban neighborhoods. Recently, homes with a more modern style have been added. is currently divided into several sub-neighbourhoods called villages. Founders Park was the original village and opened in 2004. East Lake Village, which opened in 2006, features several parks. North Shore Village is likely the community's most diverse neighbourhood architecturally, and Garden Park Village, which opened in 2009, is a fully maintained neighbourhood designed with the 55 plus empty nester in mind. Garden Park features its own private clubhouse, fitness area and easy beach access. Lake Village, which currently holds the largest and most expensive homes, opened in 2013. Creekside Village opened in 2013 with features such as the largest park in Daybreak, a zipline and much more. In Soda Row Village, you will find the main shopping area within Daybreak, along with apartments and townhouses. In 2016, the developer opened the first village on the west side of Mountain View Corridor, the major state highway that essentially divides the community in half. South Station Village is the first neighbourhood in Daybreak that follows a transit-orientated development pattern. The extension of the red line on the UTA's tracks, lights, rail system, which connects Daybreak to downtown Salt Lake and the University of Utah, was complete in 2011. And currently terminates at the University of Utah Medical Center. All homes in the community are Energy Star certified. Daybreak was the first community of its size in the region to adhere to the Energy Star standards. And the entire community has been designed and built with sustainability in mind. Many of the home builders in the community offer different options that promote green building, including solar and thermal panels, renewable building materials, and high performance appliances. Many homes in Daybreak also have fiber optic connections. As far as schools go within the Daybreak area, there are several options. In no particular order, here they are. Goldenfield Elementary, which is located in Creekside Village. Now this public elementary school focuses on the best practices for tier one instruction. Then there is East Lake Elementary, which is located in the East Lake Village. 
this is a K to 6 public school and this school has large windows with inspiring views of the surrounding neighbourhoods. The next school is Daybreak Elementary. This is part of the acclaimed Jordan School District and it is K to 6 Elementary which focuses on literacy, writing and language arts. Then there is American Academy Innovation, which is in Creekside Village. This is a charter school for grades 6 through 12. This academy offers a unique program that combines experimental learning with technical education. Then there is Early Light Academy, which is a K-9 public charter school. Early Light was launched by a group of Daybreak residents and it provides a liberal arts education with an emphasis on history. Then there is Mountain Creek Middle School, which is located in Creekside Village. This is, was a brand new school in 2019 for the 2020 school year. Mountain Creek Middle School services students in grades seven through nine. Then there is, for the high schools, Perriman High School, which is within a 10 minute drive from daybreak. There is also Bright Start Kids Academy, which is in Soda Row. It's located in the Black Diamond Sports Centre in Soda Row. Daybreak's Bright Start Kids Academy offers academic enrichment and tutoring at the preschool and kindergarten level. Then there is Daybreak Academy, again in Soda Row. This is a private school and daycare alternative. Daybreak's Academy exposes preschool through third grade students to a broad range of subjects and activities. So if you're thinking of moving or want to explore more about the Daybreak area, get in contact with me. I can arrange a private tour for you and we can work out what neighbourhood suits you best. In the meantime, if you like this, click the subscribe button. Keep an eye out for future videos where I do tours of other neighbourhoods and when I break down the Daybreak villages. Stay safe, be fantastic. Development. <laughs> you got to mouth the words, okay? At the moment, there are twice two bottles. The good thing about daybreak. Development model. Traditional neighbourhood development model. Stop recording it.